Okay, we're going to go through a daily procedure for checking the day tank. The power plant here is equipped with an auto fill day tank that provides fuel for the generators. Some facilities will have a similar day tank for the boilers. The uh, first thing we do on a daily check is go outside behind to the bolt tank that we're drawing from and uh, read the gauge, make sure there's an adequate fuel supply. In the event of a problem with the day tank, either a low fuel level, an overfill, or a timeout alarm on the pump, the day tank has an alarm. The alarm is located, in this case, over the door. There's a placard beside it, and it's uh, a loud horn combined with a strobe. So if this is going off, we know we have a problem. Now we're going to go in, we're going to look at the day tank and go through just a daily checkout normal procedure for monitoring the day tank operation. So the first thing we're going to do is check the main supply valve. The valve is labeled normally open. We want to make sure that it's in the open position. Then following the piping into the building, there's a valve that's labeled normally closed for the hand priming pump. We want to make sure that valve is closed. Then we'll check the filters. Some tank farms, uh, some facilities, you'll have a single filter, some you'll have multiple. They have a clear bowl. You can check for any accumulated water or sediment. And if there is any, you'll have to drain it off. And if there's a lot, you may have to change the filter elements. Then we're going to check all the piping, look for any signs of leaks, any obvious problems. Everything looks intact. Then we'll check the control panel, look for any alarm lights, make sure our power is on, and it appears like everything is fine and we're good to go.